Question 1. What is VMware HA? Answer As per VMware definition, VMware High Availability HA, provides easy to use, cost effective high availability for applications running in virtual machines. In the event of server failure, affected virtual machines are automatically restarted on other production servers with spare capacity. Question 2. What is ARM in HAR? Answer. ARM is the Legato Automated Availability Management. Prior to vSphere 4.1, VMware HAR is actually re-engineered to work with VMs with the help of Legato's Automated Availability Manager ARM software. VMware's vCenter agent, VPXA, interfaces with the VMware HAR agent which acts as an intermediary to the ARM software. From vSphere 5.0, it uses an agent called FDM, Fault Domain Manager. Question 3. What are prerequisites for HA to work? Answer 1. Shared storage for the VMs running in HA cluster. 2. Essentials plus standard, advanced, enterprise and enterprise plus licensing. 3. Create VM HA enabled cluster. 4. Management network redundancy to avoid frequent isolation response in case of temporary network issues. Question 4. What is maximum number of primary HA hosts in vSphere 4.1? Answer. Maximum number of primary HA host is 5. VMware HA cluster chooses the first 5 hosts that join the cluster as primary nodes and all others hosts are automatically selected as secondary nodes. Question 5. What is the command to restart, start, stop HA agent in the ESX host? Answer. Service VMware ARM restart service VMware ARM stop service VMware ARM start. Question 6. What is host isolation? Answer. VMware HA has a mechanism to detect a host as isolated from rest of hosts in the cluster. When the ESX host loses its ability to exchange heartbeat via management network between the other hosts in the HA cluster, that ESX host will be considered as an isolated. Question 7. How host isolation is detected? Answer. In HA cluster, ESX hosts uses heartbeats to communicate among other hosts in the cluster. By default, heartbeat will be sent every 1 second. If a ESX host in the cluster did not receive heartbeat for 13 seconds from any other hosts in the cluster, the host considered it as isolated and host will ping the configured isolation address default gateway by default. If the ping fails, VMware HA will execute the host isolation response. Question 8. What is HA admission control? Answer. As per VMware Availability Guide, vCenter server uses admission control to ensure that sufficient resources are available in a cluster to provide failover protection and to ensure that virtual machine resource reservations are respected. Question 9. What are the two types of settings available for admission control? Answer. Enable. Do not power on VMs that violate availability constraints. Disable. Power on VMs that violate availability constraints. Question 10. What are the different types of admission control policy available with VMware HA? Answer. There are three different types of admission control policy available. Host failures cluster tolerate. Percentage of cluster resources reserved as failover spare capacity. Specify a failover host. Question 11. How the host failures cluster tolerates admission control policy work? Answer. Select the maximum number of host failures that you can afford for or to guarantee failover. Prior vSphere 4.1, minimum is 1 and the maximum is 4. In the host failures cluster tolerates admission control policy, we can define the specific number of hosts that can fail in the cluster and also it ensures that the sufficient resources remain to fail over all the virtual machines from that failed hosts to the other hosts in cluster. VMware High Availability HA, uses a mechanism called slots to calculate both the available and required resources in the cluster for a failing over virtual machines from a failed host to other hosts in the cluster. Question 12. What is slot? Answer. As per VMware's definition, a slot is a logical representation of the memory and CPU resources that satisfy the requirements for any powered on virtual machine in the cluster. If you have configured reservations at VM level, it influences the HA slot calculation. Highest memory reservation and highest CPU reservation of the VM in your cluster determines the slot size for the cluster.